Now let's turn to Decision 2022 and some of the campaign ads that you're seeing on TV. With the primary now behind us, you've probably noticed the ads have shifted. Democratic candidate for governor Katie Hobbs is now coming under attack in a TV ad paid for by the Republican Governors Association. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick verifies the ad for us tonight. Before running for governor, Secretary of State Katie Hobbs served four terms in the Arizona legislature, rising to Democratic leader of the state Senate. We're verifying one part of this new TV ad, Hobbs votes in the legislature on funding for Governor Doug Ducey's Border Strike Task Force. Border Strike Force keeps Arizona safer. I don't understand Katie Hobbs voting against the Border Strike Force. That's Frank Milstead, the former director of the Arizona Department of Public Safety, appointed by Governor Doug Ducey. Our sources for this verify of the TV ad are Arizona legislature documents. First, some background. Ducey created the Border Strike Task Force back in 2015, in his first year as governor. It came in response to criticism that Ducey wasn't doing enough to secure the border. The new unit was run under Milstead at DPS. Follow-up reporting on the strike force by the Arizona Republic has documented that much of its enforcement efforts are nowhere near the border and most of its drug seizures don't involve smuggling or organized crime. One of the Hobbs votes in question came in May 2018 at the end of the legislative session. It was Hobbs' last session as Democratic Senate leader before running for Secretary of State. The Senate was voting on the entire $10.3 billion state budget for the coming year. The Border Strike Task Force accounted for about $8.3 million of that total budget. Hobbs and all but one of the other Senate Democrats voted no on the entire 2018 state budget. Hobbs also voted no on budgets for the three previous years, which also included border strike force funding. We can verify that Katie Hobbs did vote against spending money on the border strike force as part of larger budget votes. In a June interview on Sunday Square Off, now candidate for governor Katie Hobbs said the strike force could be a weapon against drug trafficking. The governor created the border strike task force that really in reality is a drug interdiction unit. Um, and so continuing to provide the support so that so that they're able to do that, carry out that job. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.